Sports is buying Caesars in a cash and stock deal valued at $17.3 billion, creating a casino giant. That's right. So financial analyst Steve Buden is here. Thanks for coming in early to talk right. with us about the impact of this deal. I know it's a not a complete done deal because there still right. needs to be votes, right? Right. The stockholders have to vote, but this is a pretty good deal for Las Vegas. Uh, El Dorado is a Reno-based company. Mm -hmm. They own a lot of properties. And basically, when this, if this deal consummates, it would be the largest gaming company in the United States. Bigger than MGM and bigger than Las Vegas Sands. What will it mean for the average employee or the average customer who loves Caesars? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're a Caesars customer, uh, you should see some improvements in the properties. Okay. You know, the properties at Caesars got a little stale over the years. The company had a lot of debt, and El Dorado was going to come in and take over that debt so they could invest in some of these properties. So you'll see some upgrades in the properties. If you're a member, a Harris Card member, you'll have another 26 properties oh, to use your benefit sure. card from potentially. Okay. If you're an employee of Caesars, you might have uh, employment opportunities in other states. El Dorado has properties in Iowa, in Missouri, in Colorado. So it should give you some opportunities to you know, move around the company. And unfortunately, when some of these deals happen, mid-level, upper-level management, there could be some duplicity, so mm -hmm. you might see some layoffs. But on the whole, I think it's a pretty good deal. So a lot of people asking, is it going to be called El Dorado? But I was reading that it's yes. going to stay under the Caesars name. The Caesars brand is really powerful. Yes. And I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. if they do keep Caesars. In fact, I think they did announce that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting because we were saying earlier that now it makes it a player. But in my mind, Caesars Palace has always been a player just because the brand name is right. so strong. Right, and that, that's what let them get away with a lot of things for a lot of years. But ah. you know, with all due respect, if you've been in some of those properties, uh, they let them go. Mm -hmm. right. And they were over $8 billion in debt, and it was very tough for them to raise money to improve the properties. But now this new company is coming in. They have a better balance sheet. They can use some of that money that they have. They can go out and borrow money and improve the properties. It's getting really competitive. Yeah, I was going to say, what, it, what does it mean for uh, corporations like MGM Resorts International when, you know, it, it, does this bring Caesars right up there or, I, I think or so. above them? Or how does well, that I, I think they wake up in the morning and they certainly will be looking in the rearview mirror to mm -hmm. see who's coming. That happens every day in business, right? But I think uh, when you hear about the MGM layoffs and they're doing the whole restructuring. Mm -hmm. The business has gotten very competitive and the businesses itself has not really adopted the artificial intelligence and robotics movement yet and I think that's where this is all going. The companies need to streamline and having that ability to access capital and, and money and keep their flexibility open is, is important. Yeah, the bottom line though is we need all these properties to succeed right. on the Las Vegas Strip. Right. You know, one of the largest or the largest employer in Yes. in Nevada. So right. uh, we wish them all well, whatever yes. it takes. No, when they when they win, we all win. Yes. And El Dorado for a long time has been looking to get a presence in Southern Nevada. They only have a Laughlin property and I think this was a good opportunity. Good Great. deal for everybody. Great. Steve, thanks yeah. so much for coming on sure. and clearing some of that up. You'll be back on midday at 11 a.m. So, so we'll, we'll see you then. Yep.